Hey guys, it's Angelique here, or Taco Tomodachi. One, sorry I haven't updated in forever. It was, the last couple of weeks have been super busy. Two, I never do a haul, and as you can tell from the title, this is a haul video. Uh, but recently I was in Toronto for the first time in my life, and they have tons of art stores there. I live in Winnipeg. We just had an art store close, so now I think we only have one legitimate like fine art store in the entire city other than like Michael's which doesn't count in my opinion which sucks but I was in Toronto they had tons of art stores so I really took advantage of that I bought quite a few things you can kind of see some um, behind me but yeah we're just gonna go over them and I hope you enjoy just not any particular order I'm just gonna grab and show you them I bought these um, paper paper clips are these called paper clips they're, they're like those normal type of papery, clippy things. And I bought these for when I'm out sketching and I, you have to hold papers open. And they're also good for like having a board and just clipping paper onto it. And one other thing I also got were these um, Conte crayons. Conte, I hope, I hope that's how you pronounce them. Just comes uh, in this cute little a box, which kind of looks like a matchbook. But it comes with four different crayon colors: one black, white, sanguine, and bistre. So yeah, I really enjoy these. Um, I'm hoping to use them more for value drawings. So yes. Another thing I got was this Tri Art palette. I have already used it. I'm sorry. I've never used them with oil, just with acrylic so far. But what happens is after the paint has dried, you can easily just peel it off or you can scrape it off with a palette knife. So I bought this because it's tiny and if I'm ever on the go and want to do acrylic painting, I can you can use like both sides and it's just really handy and light to travel with. That being said, I also bought a bigger one, uh, which is this. Again, I've already used it. But yeah, it, it's again really nice because it peels off. I think maybe I can show you. Uh, like, look at this, look at this. Just peels, peels right off. And it's, su it's super fun to do and it's really satisfying. But yeah, I really enjoy this. I like that it's sectioned. It has this like long strip here, which you can put like just the pure paints and then it has these two big mixing areas, which I really enjoy. Something else I got, uh, not that exciting, is this plastic um, jar. And this is really nice for when I'm a watercolor painting outdoors. I can just toss this in my purse because it's really light. Fill it up with water from my water bottle and it's not going to leak in my purse. I got this also from Curry's. It's their 500 ml like just plastic jar. Um, and I've already tested it. I filled it up with water. I've turned it upside down, left it overnight, no water spilt. It's great. I love it. Uh, this was only like a dollar or two. So. Exciting things that I got <laughs> were these three Hydra's Fine Art watercolors. Yeah. These are the smaller sized one. I know they carry them in larger sizes. This is 15 mils. I'm pretty sure they also come in 30 mils or something like that. The 30 mil ones or the bigger ones come in, I think, glass jars and the little smaller ones um, come in plastic jars. I actually prefer the plastic jars because I'm not going to break these and I might break those glass ones because I'm a fool. I got Ultramarine, I got Quinacridone Magenta, and I got Hansa Yellow Medium. I'm excited to try them out. Might do a review. Who knows? One other random thing I got was this little canvas. I think I got this at Walmart actually a couple, a couple months ago. I haven't used it yet. I have worked on little canvases before. I just thought this these are really cute. They'd make cute little gifts. Something else that I got uh, were these My Taints 8.5 by 11 sheets. I usually get um, big sheets and cut them down, but 
since I was in Toronto and I don't live there, it's kind of hard to, to buy huge pieces of paper, lug them to my hotel or wherever I was staying and bring them onto a plane without destroying them all. So these were only a couple cents each, so I thought I'd try them. So I got light blue, thought this was a pretty color, vert, no, I ivy, ivy, red earth, bisque, this is a really pretty color, all of these, I'm gonna say they're a pretty color, burgundy, and Stig Stiglin Black. Stigland? Stigland? It's, it's just the black. I, I've been wanting to try using, because I've only done um, gouache on watercolor paper, and I've been wanting to try them on colored paper. So I wanted to try them on these, and these are the pastel papers. My taints are pastel paper. I like them because they have a pretty high um, cotton content. I think it's about 60%. So hopefully they take wash well. So I'm just going to try them out with those. If I end up liking them, I'll buy the bigger sheets and work on those. But these will be fun. I've never worked on colored paper before. And I know everyone loves working on colored paper on YouTube. So I'm joining the bandwagon. You know. So also at Curry's, I ordered this online and I've I've already used them. Terrible, terrible. I have no patience. I bought four uh, watercolors from Da Vinci. I got green gold. I got quinacridone, quinacridone burnt orange. I got raw sienna deep. And I got French ultramarine red shade. Yeah, those were the watercolors I got. I've been really wanting to try pastels. I have a pack of... Uh, Crayola oil pastels, which I have no idea where I got, but I wanted to try something a little bit higher quality, and I've heard really good things about this Mungio brand. So I got the pack of 24 colors. This is really inexpensive. I think this is only like $7, and it's for 24. Um, it comes with all of these colors. I have not used them yet. They look really nice. Um, I'm not expecting amazing quality, but I've never used, I've barely used oil pastels, rather. Um, so I don't mind if they're not great quality. I don't even know if I'll like them, so I don't want to spend a lot of money on something I'm gonna hate, rather. And I also got, um, Mungyo Soft Pastels here. Um, and this is their artist gallery grade, which I heard that they're actually quite decent in terms of a student grade pencil. This was a little bit more expensive. This was also the 24 pack, but this is what they look like. They look really pretty. I'm really excited to use these. I haven't used them yet. I'll probably end up doing like a review if you guys want, but they look really pretty. I almost don't want to touch them. They look like candies. Now I want candy. Uh, more boring stuff. I bought these three kneaded erasers. Every time I go buy art supplies, I always get more of these because I always lose them or they get super dirty or I drop them on the floor and then they like get super gunky and gross with my hair. Um, so I bought three. So the thing behind me is an easel and this is the Curry's brand Sketchbox. I know a lot of companies make this exact one, but this one I've wanted for ages because Curry's had it for an amazing price. It was $50. It's been on sale for months. I know that because I've been on their website for months just staring at this, wanting it forever. And finally, I was actually in a Curry store and was like, nope, gotta buy it. I no self-control. And the reason why I like this is because one it's pretty small so you can see it here it's nice and compact it folds up like this and what you can do is pull it up like so and they have these little knobs here and then you can tighten these the reason why i wanted it was because and i've used this already too it has kind of paint stains is you can actually adjust this down as well as adjust this up 
so if you were working on a really big piece you could actually bring the painting right up to your to your lap essentially and it makes it easier to paint it also has a little storage area which i really enjoy where you can put all of your paints and stuff so these are other things that i also got i got this palette knife and i bought this uh, for one for painting mixing paints and also to scrape off paint from my uh, palettes that i previously bought like these acrylic ones and this was only a couple bucks I also got this other one. This is the Curry's brand. I've already used it. This one for specifically for mixing paint and also potentially to paint with if I want to do something like that. It's also really flexible, which I really like. This um, is a really old one, but it's another palette knife. These are oil paints from like a no-name brand from a gift I bought. I have no idea what this is or what brand this is. But these other ones that I bought were these Liquitex Basics. Michaels actually has a really good price for these if you use a coupon. It probably has the cheapest price I've found, actually. The set came with black, Mars black, ultramarine blue, naphthol crimson, titanium white, um, cadmium yellow, medium hue, and phthalo green. So, yeah. But I really enjoy this easel. I am super happy that I bought it. What I also, what I also got to go with it was uh, this ma masonite board, which I also got at Curry's. It was pretty inexpensive, and I like it because it fits nicely on the easel, I can put it vertically, and I can put it horizontally. And I like taping up um, my watercolor paper with just like tape, and it lets me paint at an angle, and I always paint flat on my table. So this is a nice change, it helps me um, do, I think, neater effects by like moving the board up and down. So yeah, that's all the things that I bought. It was pretty awesome. If you guys want to see any reviews for any of the items I've shown you, just a comment down below. Everything I mentioned will be in the description box below. And with that, like, comment, and subscribe if you liked anything. And thanks, I'll see you next time. Bye guys!